Hi everyone, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Stamp Timber exclusive to share with you. Today we are celebrating Waffle Flower and I'm going to create some multicolor embossing and embossed resist cards for you today. This is um, kind of a design I did several years ago and I decided to revisit it because it's one of my absolute favorites. This is the Winter Crystals 6x8 stamp set from Waffle Flower. This is a limited edition exclusive as are all of the collaborations that you're going to see this month and so when this is gone it's gone. I like to start out in a design like this, figuring out where my sentiment is going to go, as well as kind of what I'm calling my focal point snowflake, which is going to be that snowflake in the upper left. It's probably going to be the only snowflake that is kind of mostly on the panel, if you will. And so once I kind of have that ironed out, I'm good to go. I also decided to use another sentiment for my card today and that is going to be a phrase from the Simon Says Stamp Ornament Options stamp set that says Merry Christmas. I always just kind of like something a little smaller with my bigger sentiment. You definitely wouldn't have to add anything extra if you didn't want to. Any sort of small phrase I think would work well here. So I'm going to fiddle around and mess with it around with this a little bit. And then once I have it kind of where I like it, then we can go ahead and start stamping our snowflakes and sentiments. I do have two four and a quarter by five and a half inch panels, one from Shamrock Hero Hues cardstock. That's that green color you see here. This is one of the newer Hero Arts cardstock colors, and then I have Schoolhouse Red from Simon Says Stamp. So real traditional. You could definitely go more blues, purples, uh, gray, anything you want. I'm going to prep my entire cardstock panel with a powder tool. I really need to refill my powder tool. And I am going to stamp the first images and kind of as many as I can at one time with my clear embossing ink, and then I'm going to heat emboss with white. I made the decision early on, I wanted my sentiment to be in white to really pop. And so anything else I'm going to stamp in white. Now I purposely chose not to stamp my focal point snowflake with that white color because I felt like that was just going to be way too heavy with the white focal point. And so you'll see that I'll choose something else for that. I am using white antique gold and silver embossing powders from Simon Says Stamp for my card, but you could definitely choose to use some other colors of embossing powder if you want to. These are pretty what I would call traditional holiday cards. So while I have my stamps loaded up into my Misty, I'm going to stamp the second panel. Now I know I'm not stamping right in the upper corner for this card. I will say I wish I would have. I wish I kind of would have flipped this around, the panel around the, and the stamps. Um, it's okay for this, but for the remainder of my stamping, I will be making sure my cardstock is either in the upper corner or lower corner with my snowflakes hanging off the edge. That way I can rest assured that if I need to stamp it again, <clears throat> excuse me, that the images and the paper are all going to be lined up. And it's so pretty. And it's really just repeating this over and over. These are really eye catching. And I think they're some of the most stunning cards you can create. And they literally are some of the easiest. I love playing with embossing powder and mixing embossing powder and snowflakes lend themselves really, really well to this technique. So imagine maybe going with um, silver, even all of these colors here, um, I guess, on let's say purple cardstock and doing a purple background or blue background, or maybe you want to do more of an aqua or a pink. 
um, and do a little bit more of a modern, or maybe you want to do a light gray and you want to mix in some red embossing. How gorgeous would red embossing be on a gray cardstock? So really the sky is the limit. You can look at your embossing powder, see what you have, and create some really fun designs. Another huge benefit of this particular style, even though I didn't name it this or, or kind of showcase the cards as this, they're one layer. <clears throat> Excuse me. These cards are going to be super easy to mail. The only thing is I added some pearls when I was done. All of the stamping, all of the embossing, all of the embellishing, inking, all on one layer. So if you're looking for a card design that is going to be very, very easy to send through the mail, this is it. And you could just simply switch up the colors of cardstock in the background uh, for a little bit of interest and a little variety. So this is the antique gold, and I decided to do the antique gold as kind of the highlight. There will be a little snippet of three big snowflakes somewhere on the design. In the stamp set, there's only two big snowflakes, so one will get stamped twice. But somewhere on the panel, and each will be embossed in a different color. I think visually that helps balance out the design really nicely. So next we're going to half stamp right underneath the greeting, which you might have noticed at the beginning of the video, I kind of planned that. We're going to stamp half of another big snowflake, and we're going to emboss anything I stamped here with silver embossing ink. Now, while I kind of quote unquote dirtied up my panel with some embossed resist and some splatter, this would be pretty if you want it to be a little bit more modern looking, you could definitely leave it as is when we get done with the embossing. Maybe just add some, you know, sequins or pearls or other gemstones if you would like, and it would give it a completely different look. And I am going to continue to do this then for all of the rest of the snowflakes. And again, anytime I can stamp more than one image at a time, I am going to do that to save time. I kind of have everything lined up. I have all my embossing powders up, um, kind of out of the top of the screen. I have them lined up. I have my embossing tool next to me. I have my embossing ink next to me. And then I'm just flipping the panels as I'm working. So now we're going to stamp part of the last big, and you'll see how it creates a visual triangle on the card. And we're also going to stamp the little teeny tiny snowflake, which funny enough, I think that little teeny tiny snowflake is one of my favorites. I love how it just fills in all the little nooks and crannies. And we're going to just do this for both panels. I think I have maybe, maybe two to three more stamped, um, steps, I guess I want to call them, to finish out the panel. We have obviously some that needs to fill in that top part, um, maybe a couple more or one more in the bottom left, and then I think we will be good. I really tried to make sure when I was doing this, so you'll notice I started with the white for my greeting, and then I went to the big gold snowflake, and then I did some silver, and now I've done some white, and I really need to balance now with some more gold. So the next couple images, I think I actually did silver first, and I'm really constantly working. It's really hard to tell that some of that is silver embossing with the glare of my camera, but I'm trying to make sure I'm balancing all the different colors so that they are really represented all the way around the perimeter of the card. Yep, so these are gonna be some silver and then I think we'll finish off with gold. If I'm not mistaken, I think that will be it for each of these panels.
And so then I've got some like little dots and we have a small teeny tiny snowflake in white and one in silver. So now we need one in gold. Always working for a visual triangle um, is something that I think kind of helps balance it all out. And no dies are needed with this card. So if you're looking for a purely stamped design, no coloring, no die cutting, this is for you. Now there is a stamp die combo available. Uh, please be aware that if you're interested in getting the coordinating dies that go along with this stamp set or getting the combo, because the dies are only available in the combo, I would get that early. Those seem to sell out first. And then the stamp set is generally, uh, you know, there, there's a few more of those left over later. But I really, really love this stamp set. I don't think it requires dies to create beautiful cards. And we're gonna fill in that last little corner. Now, I think if I were to leave this without any inking, distressing, splatter, I would probably fill in a couple of those additional areas around the perimeter of the card. I'm not going to because I am gonna add splatter and I think that's gonna fill in anything that I want filled in. I kind of thought about it and then I decided, you know what, we're gonna add ink. I think we're good. So let's go ahead and move everything else out of the way and let's ink up our background. So I've got the Pink Fresh Studio Evergreen ink. Um, you can use any ink you want here that's dark enough to kind of darken the edges of your cardstock. I happen to be working on some Pink Fresh cards uh, the same day that I was doing these. And so it was very easy to just grab those inks because they were already out and that was kind of a happy accident. So I did evergreen around the edges and I'm gonna take a dry cloth, paper towel, whatever, and wipe away the ink on top of the embossing. And then I'm gonna take licorice, which is another pink fresh color, and I'm gonna go around the edges and darken that a little bit more. And I like how the black just kind of helps frame it up a little bit. And again, go over the whole panel, buff away any ink sitting on top of the embossing. Let's go ahead and do the red panel now. Look at just how rich that makes that background look compared to the red one. This time we're going to use candy apple and go around the edges. This is a nice deep red. And again, I already had this color out, so this made it very easy, as well as the black licorice. I'm sort of thinking candy apple and black licorice with a little berrylicious berry for my pink fresh cards is uh, a favorite color combo this year. I really like it. I like how it kind of gives it a moody Christmas feel. So now that we have our two panels, I'm gonna grab my splatter box. And I thought about doing a couple of different kind of splatter things. Uh, and I was like, no, that doesn't have any shimmer to it. So no, let's not do that. And then I was like, I'm kind of glad. I don't think I wanna do shimmer. Let's go ahead and just do some white gouache. And so I am really gonna go all in, and these are very heavily splattered, but to me, it really adds to that snowy holiday feel. Um, I absolutely love this. We're gonna splatter them both at the same time. Look how pretty they are, you guys. Oh, I love it. So again, pretty heavy-handed with my splatter, but worth it. So, so pretty. I think it gives you that snow flurries look. Once I've done that, I'm gonna take my Barely Glue, I'm gonna take some uh, triangle trays from Simon Says Stamp that I filled with pretty pink posh pearls in silver and gold, and we are going to use an embellishment wand to decorate up our snowflakes. And I'm kind of just following the design of the snowflake, and we're I only picked these two colors. I didn't opt to use any white or anything like that. Um, I thought the metallics were enough for this particular card. And we're just gonna go around and embellish the snowflakes. And I'm gonna add little dabs of glue and then just simply pop the pearls in place. Now I didn't add it to everything. The little snowflakes, I didn't add anything there. Um, I tried not to go too terrible heavy on the big snowflakes either. 
The focal point snowflake has the most, but the rest are pretty sparse. And of course, there's not a ton of those snowflakes showing on the panel either, but I didn't feel like we wanted to go overly heavy with the pearls. Other options include sequins. You could use Nouveau crystal drops and make your own little droplets. Lots of ways to embellish this. Let's go ahead and do the second background. I'm a big fan of when I am creating one design uh, or creating a design to go ahead and create multiples, which I've talked about many times. And I figured while I had all these stamps lined up in the Misty already, I might as well do a couple of color options just to show how it looks. Uh, maybe you are more of a traditional red or maybe you like the traditional green. Um, maybe you like blue or something. Definitely try out any of your favorite color combinations with this. I think you will be super happy with the results. This is one of my all time favorite techniques. Grab your favorite embossing powders and simply have fun with your solid stamped snowflake images. Whether you pick up this stamp set or you use one that you already own at home. With my Stamp Timber videos this year, as always, I want to encourage you to, yes, if, if you love a company and you want to grab the stamp set or stamp a die combo, absolutely do that. But hopefully I'm sharing ideas and inspiration that will inspire you to use products that you may already have on hand as well. Um, so definitely try this if you haven't in the comments down below. I would love to know if you have tried multicolor embossing. Um, I'd also love to know if you remember my video, it's probably about four years old now, uh, where I did something very similar to this. Uh, let me know in the comments. I always love hearing from you guys. And here's a look at the finished cards. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for these Waffle Flower Stamp Timber 2022 cards using the Winter Crystals stamp set. The supplies I used to create these cards are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another video featuring a similar technique that you might be interested in. I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to my Patreon members. If you would like to become a member of Patreon, please click the link in the description below. We would love to see you over there as part of our growing community. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new card making video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I appreciate each and every one of you, and we'll see you again next time.